In today's video, I'm going to show you how to completely remove Linux from a dual boot setup with Windows. I'll be using Linux Mint in this example, but the process will be very similar for any other Linux distribution. Before we begin, make sure to back up all important files, both from your Linux and Windows partitions. Since we'll be deleting Linux, everything on that partition will be erased. It's also a good idea to back up your Windows files just in case anything goes wrong during the process. Once your backups are complete, in Windows, click the Start button and search for Disk Management. Open Create and Format Hard Disk Partitions. In the Disk Management window, look for the partitions that belong to Linux. These are usually next to your C drive and often don't have a drive letter. They might be labeled as Healthy Primary Partition. In my case, my Linux Mint partition is this 62.5 GB block. You might see more than one partition created by Linux, such as a swap or boot partition. Just be careful not to delete your Windows partition or the EFI system partition. Right click each Linux partition and choose Delete Volume. Then confirm. Once the Linux partitions are deleted, you'll see unallocated space. To reclaim that space, right click on your Windows C partition and select Extend Volume. A window will come up, just click Next, then Next again, and finally Finish. This will merge the unallocated space into your main Windows partition. As you'll see in the File Explorer, Windows will now be using the full capacity of your drive. You can now close out of Disk Management. Next, we'll clean up the bootloader files. Open the Start menu and search for CMD. Right click on Command Prompt and run it as an administrator. First, run the following command. I'll leave all the commands in the description below so you can copy and paste them into Command Prompt. This command tells your system to use the Windows Boot Manager instead of Grub. Then run the bcd edit forward slash enum firmware command to list all the boot entries stored in your system's firmware. Look for any entries labeled with your Linux distribution. Since Linux Mint is based on Ubuntu, I'm looking for anything labeled Ubuntu. You may see more than one entry. In my case, I have two. Note the identifier for each. To delete an entry, run bcd edit forward slash delete, then the identifier string with the curly brackets included. Repeat this command for every Linux related entry. You can once again run the bcd edit enum firmware command to confirm that all Linux entries have been removed. Next, let's remove the actual grub bootloader files. In command prompt, type this part to launch the disk part utility. Type list disk to see your drives and identify your system drive. It's usually going to be disk 0. Then type select disk 0, followed by list partition. Find the EFI system partition. It's usually around 100 to 300 megabytes and the type will be system. Select it using select partition 1 or whichever partition number is for your EFI. Now assign it a drive letter with assign letter equals W. I'm using W because it's an uncommon drive letter, but you can use any letter not already in use. Exit disk parts by typing exit. With the EFI partition now mounted, Switch to it using the following cd command. Run the dir command to see its contents. Here you'll see the boot files for your Linux distro. For example, a folder named Ubuntu. To remove it, use the following remove directory command. This command will delete the leftover grub bootloader files. Once done, Unmount the partition with the following mount vol command. 
At this point, we've fully removed Linux from our system. One final thing I like to verify is that the BIOS is set to boot into Windows. To access the BIOS from within Windows, click the Start button, then click the Power icon, hold Shift on your keyboard, and click Restart. Your PC will reboot into a troubleshooting menu. Click Troubleshoot, then Advanced Options, then UEFI Firmware Settings, and finally Restart. Once in the BIOS, look for the boot order settings. Depending on your motherboard or system manufacturer, your BIOS will look a little different. On my ASUS board, I go up to the boot tab, scroll down to boot option priorities, and make sure boot option number one is set to Windows Boot Manager. Since we've removed the Ubuntu entries, that should be the only option left. After saving and exiting the BIOS, your computer should now boot straight into Windows with no trace of Grub or your previous Linux install. If this video helps, please leave a like, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.